Hello guys, welcome back to my video. I hope you're enjoying all of my tutorial video and I know I've showed you a video on how to get an account in Miro and how do you actually use a Miro and for your, uh, you know, for your purposes. It's either meeting, it's either uh, teaching kids. So I hope you're enjoying those videos. In this video, you're gonna learn something new. That means you're gonna use the Miro apps on your phone. Yes, example, you have an iPad or if you have an iPhone or you have an Android phone, you can use those phones to actually edit the Miro board that's been given to you or you can actually make your own Miro board on that phone. It's so simple. So the first thing you need is, of course, you also already need, you also need an account a Miro account. So you need to have a Miro account. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need to have a phone. It's either an Android, an uh, iPhone, or maybe any other one or an iOS device, an iPad also, it will be fine. And that's it. That's the only thing you need. So let's get started. Okay. I'm about to show you my screen and I'm going to show you step by step how to download it as the first time of downloading the Miro apps. You ready? Here it is. So I kind of propped everything already. So I'm going to show you my iPhone screen, right? It's probably right there in the video that you can see. So what you do is because I downloaded the Miro already. So now I'm going to download the Miro on the App Store. So as simple as that. So I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in Miro. It should come up as the first one at the top. You see that? So when you click that Miro, the first one at the top, and you probably are going to go cherry. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> I thought something happened with my internet, but okay. So you're going to click that Miro apps at the top. Unfortunately, I've already downloaded the Miro and I haven't updated yet because it says update on my phone. So um, simple as that. So if you are the first timer as downloading the apps, it will say install. All right, so guys, so you'll just install it. It's free. You don't have to do anything. Sometimes the phone will ask you and will ask you to prompt you your Apple ID or if it's an Android phone, it'll prompt you to have a Play Store ID. So um, you just punch that in inside your phone and then it's going to download for you. So once it's downloaded, I need you to pull that up and make sure you press on your phone. Since I got it here already, so I'm going to press it and it's going to take me to the application now. So it's just nice that I haven't used the application on the iPhone and I'm about to use it now as a first timer, same as you guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I've already have an account, so I'm going to write down my account at the top. And then you, I'm gonna write down my password at the bottom. And once that's done, because my phone is automatically, so simple as that. Once I wrote an um, email at the top and then I wrote the password at the bottom, simple as that. And then one, once I write that down, I'm gonna sign in. Now on this video, you might not see my password because it's blank. Yes, because Apple covers it. And you know, the Apple, the device itself knows that I'm recording this on a video. That's why it gives it a blank. So I'm going to, after I put down my password, my, of the account, I'm going to sign in. You ready? Here it is. I'm going to press sign in. It should be able to take me to my board. You ready? There you go. So once you see my board and I'm going to show it to you, once you see my board, you'll be able to see all of the boards that you have currently, uh, here listed on my Miro account. Simple as that. So done right this is so cool so once you're inside you will get to see your board and then if you press the top button and you will get to see all of the folders that you have now i have a lot of template folders if you go to template uh, folder you can take a look and all these my template files simple as that so i'm going to show you this one that i have it's called the dependable builder board and then um, i'll show you one more okay i'll show you this one that i usually have on my on, on um, my row board ready i'm gonna use one of my template board and i'm gonna open it now i'm gonna edit here it's loading right so once you open it it's gonna be loading now when you see a wide screen you don't have to worry because it's probably it's already zoomed in already so you're gonna zoom out a little bit you're gonna pitch out and then when you pitch out you'll be able to see that the my row board itself is there like you there like the first common mistake people do is when they open it when they have a board they kind of tell me okay hey ricky i cannot see the board it's all white color and i said yeah fine you just need to pinch in pinch out with your finger you pinch you you pinch out to go to zoom out and then you pinch in to zoom in simple as that so once i do that you can take a look at my finger here it is i will show it on my screen you probably cannot see it but i will show it on my screen i'm using my two finger to pinch in and then this you can see on the screen that it goes to 
the island, which is the one that I have. Now, this is a template island for my Miro. Isn't it cool, guys? I bet you like it, right? So the template island that I use normally for a program is this th a template island. And normally, I have one team to be in one island itself. Now, I'm going to go across here. I'm going to just pretend that it's a new board. Okay, guys? So I'm going to go through a little bit how to actually use the Miro board itself. Ready, guys? There's a plus button on your right-hand bottom part. And you can actually see it on my screen. And if, if you take a look at right right there yeah <laughs> there's a there's a plus button at the bottom of my screen so when you press the plus button right guys when you press plus it gives you the tools that exactly same as you have in the Miro website same as that the first one is a text tool the second one is a sticky note tool the third one is the a sticky capture tool the fourth one is the comment the pen the shape the frame and then upload is the same tools that you actually use. So how do I actually edit on this Miro? Simple. Let's just say I choose the sticky note, ready? I'm gonna click it and then it gives me a sticky note. Now the phone actually zooms in for me. It helps me to zoom in. So how, what am I gonna write in the sticky note? Let's say I'm gonna write down my name, ready? Once I write down my name on a sticky note, right? Once that's done, Surisi, <laughs> Suroso, right? Once, once that's done, I'm gonna press done. When I press done, I'm gonna zoom out and you can see my sticky note there, right? And then when you see my sticky note, you can actually edit again. How do I edit again? Simple. I just double click on the sticky note. One, two, and it's gonna be able to make me to edit. You see that? It comes back for me to edit. Simple as that. And then how do I edit? Simple, I just erase the things that I wrote down on the sticky note. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna press done. Now, some of you are saying, so, okay, good. So how do I change color of the sticky note? Simple, there's a color tab at the bottom. I'll just change this color pad. You probably can see it on the screen. And I'll just use black color and the sticky note will change its fonts color into a white. It does it automatically, the same thing as the web design. So once that's done, I'm gonna press done, done. And let's say you say, Ricky, I'm gonna make it bigger. How? Simple, you see the white little circles around the post-it, you just click it once, don't let go. And then you can actually make it bigger. You see that? So you, let me do it one more time. You can actually move the sticky note around and then you don't move it, okay? I can move it around. Let's say I put it here, but I want it bigger in the middle. Sure, I'll just click the circle, any of the circle that you see, and then you just don't let go and then keep on dragging across and it will make the sticky note bigger. Simple as that. Now, once that's done, that's it. You have a sticky note there for you. You got nothing else. That's all set for you. Let's say, okay, let's gonna pull up the tools again. Let's say, just now in the video before that I showed you, before you, uh, in my tutorial that I showed you, you can actually use a pen tool, right? You can also use a pen tool here. Let's press the pen, pen tool. And then you can actually choose the thickness in the middle of the phone. Ready? You can choose the thickness and this is how thick it is. You see it? The more I drag it to the right, the more thicker it gets at the bottom. You see it? So I'm just going to put it this way. And then I'm going to use the, of course, the black color. And then once I use that, once I use that, done. And then I'm going to draw it. You ready for it? Here it is. So I'm going to draw it. I'm going to sign there you go. This is much easier because I'm using a phone for me to sign, but I don't think so everyone can see. So I'm going to make it a bit thicker. You guys ready? Here it is. So if you sign right, it's easier for me to sign like that because I'm using a phone and then it's easier. Last time it was hard because I'm using a mouse. So it's simple as that. Once you're done, you just need to press the tick all the way at the top. You see the tick? The tick is right on your right hand top right hand top ready here it is i take it that means i'm done i've already had my uh sign there i can actually select my sign i can select my sign and i can move my sign around or i can erase it simple as that now how do i erase simple i just press the sign and then i press the bin button or the apa ya? Or what should i say the bin the the garbage bin bottom at the bottom i think you want to call it so i just press that and it's going to erase i click any of this i erase again i click any of this i erase again i click any of the thing that i want the item that i want on my screen i erase again i click one time erase again and click one time erase again erase and erase that's it and let's say last one i want to erase my sticky note that says a ricky Suroso. i'm going to click it one time and then i'm going to erase it and how do i erase it the same thing as pressing the rubbish bin bottom all the way to the right bottom of your screen you can take a look at it all right so simple as that the tab is the same the toolbar is the same simple as that so let me erase this one voila and that's it i mean 
as easy as that yeah, guys nothing else you need to know it's user friendly i love the app so much you can actually use the app for you to edit at the same time so in that guys uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video as I showed you how to use Miro on an application. You can use it on Android. You can use it on iOS. Simple as that. Remember, you do need an account first before you go to the application, right? You need a Miro account first. You can watch my video on how, tutorial how to get an account in Miro. In that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something from the video, please give me the like button. If you love the video, please make sure you subscribe. And in that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys. Guys, take care.